So in this video it's about Fort Bravo or Texas Hollywood. This is what you're going to see as you come in guys. You see the big sign there uh, and then we're just going to drive down the driveway into the entrance uh, and we'll carry on from there. Have a look in here if we can get up the steps. I think this must be looking at this, it's got to be the sheriff's hangout. Um, <laughs> could be the sheriff's hangout. Hello, nobody in there, I don't think. What I don't want to end up is is shutting one of the cells. Little back door there coming out onto something. Let's just go in. Oh no, I'm locked in now. I'm stuck in there. Oh no, even worse. Somebody's put a noose up there. <laughs> so I've just come out the back of the uh, sheriff's office. I'm on another street. I'll tell you what, it's I mean, there's loads of buildings. It looks a bit tatty, but I suppose it gives it that authenticness. Um, sort of a mixture of different doors and windows. The Comar Exchange, whatever that means. Yeah, for you know, for old cowboy set. Um, and there are people walking about now which <laughs> I was getting a bit worried about, even though we saw all these cars there, um, there was nobody about. Yeah, what's this? This looks like another, uh, the doors are open, so I've got to go in and have a nose. I think that's where the, I think this is where the, oh. I don't, see, not even the cats are bothered. This is the stables that's got nothing in it at the moment. You got the dusty old saddles there. Maybe they don't use it because it doesn't look like horses have been in there, to be honest. We're coming back onto that saloon again. So at the back of the place, because um, I did see you can camp here, and it looks like you've you got chalets. Because I'm just walking around the back of this part. And somebody's obviously staying here on holiday. So I take it you can rent these out. Uh, and I did notice, this was just coming up to it now, 
there's an outdoor swimming pool another pussy cat i think i'm gonna call this spot the pussy cat because there's just so many pussy cats but yeah there's a there's an outdoor pool there um i was just wondering maybe is, is, is that a restaurant but i don't think i think it's probably for the guests that stay here it's got a, something on there entrance to the swimming pool Probably, I mean, we're just coming into June now. Um, so it's probably a little bit early yet still for outdoor swimming pools. Somebody's messing about with the sign there. Yeah. And I think, what's this down there? This looks interesting. Oh, yeah, the pool's there. Let's have a quick look. Looks all right, doesn't it? Nobody in it, but I expect it's, uh, it's going to another month's time. There'll be loads of people on that, especially in July. There's another pussy cat there. Spot the pussy cat. Oh, we've got a couple more pussy cats. I think it's a Wild West cat show. <laughs> so I don't know what this place is. I just noticed this was walking past. I think it must be part of the restaurant, maybe. Obviously not open at the moment. We've got the uh, the sheriff there. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know what these are. Look like. Did you? Would you sit on these? I don't know what those are. And we've got some old stage coaches there. And we've got Mr. Indian Man, Tolton Pole. Loads of these. <laughs> if anybody knows what these are for, they'd be interested to know. Because um, there's just loads of them. Sort of a, a semi restaurant come museum, I suppose. Well, I don't know if you can remember Mel Gibson. I'm trying to think of that film now, sort of in the future. Because you've got these weird contraptions there, and over there it's got some sort of sidecar thingy. Um, but there's nothing about it. Shame, really, because it would have been interesting if they were done up. Um, and also, because oh, I'm around the back, so it's probably where they, they do all the repairing, no doubt. Another pussy cat. You've got more old carts here. So I've sort of done this bit back to front. So when you first arrive here, the first thing you're going to see, guys, is that fort there, Fort Bravo. Uh, and just down there is the entrance. It's a gated entrance, and you have to get out of your car, pay your money. Now, for over 65s, it's 1590. Uh, and in the younger lot, it's about 1940. Don't swear me on the 1940. And children, obviously, a lot cheaper. I was more worried about the 1590. Um, I'm just going to walk down to Fort Bravo, have a quick nose around, because that seems to be the main thing. You've got an old hanging thing there, it looks like it's had its days. Another cat. So this is um, this is the car park. A lot of people, I can't believe, that there's all these cars here, and I've, I've hardly seen anybody, but I think they're watching the show. So anyway, I'm going to walk on down to Fort Bravo. So I'm walking into Fort Bravo now. I've walked all this way. Is it worth the walk, to be honest? <laughs> so I'm um, anyway, it's looking pretty authentic. I can imagine the old John Wayne, if he ever come here. I don't know, I don't think he did. But um, yeah, he got the sort of the main office over there, sleeping quarters. There's some steps going up to the towers. I think I'll give that a miss. They don't look particularly, uh, well, thinking about it, that one over there has got the steps missing. I think they've done it on purpose. I think they've taken the steps away. So you can see in that corner there, there it is, the flag. So I'm all sort of just past the old fort. This is the railway track part. Now, obviously, 
there was a, like a water butt thing on that tower that, that's come off probably from the wind it looks like there's some new buildings over there i mean these look pretty desolate but i suppose that's for the desolate movie shots <laughs> i think they still use this in some of the old uh westerns i don't know if it's the spanish or maybe the americans still come here i've got a leaflet I'm, i will look at it later on and um I'll let you know if I find anything interesting on the leaflet. So I don't know if you can hear, but it's starting to rain out there. So I'll put a come in this, looks like the builder's yard, but lovely old fireplace there, which they've obviously built. Um, and I'll just go back out. I'm in the same part where the railway track is. Yeah, it's just starting to rain, would you believe? It's not, it's just a drizzle. Um, so that's where I was, the moulding stash bar doors and blinds, lumber, Jane Rule dealers contracting. <laughs> yeah, so we got a little bit of rain today, unfortunately. We're in the we saloon now. The There's the yeah. stage. Sure, run back and give me for me. Well, obviously we've missed the show. I, when I was coming oh, down here, they, they were doing hour. a... Oh, all right, right. Oh, so we could sit here then. Yeah. We were right on the show bit. Yeah. I bet. 30, 35 years. How much does the drinks cost in there? 17 euros for a half bottle. <laughs> so, give us a break, So, we're sat inside the saloon now because the half past two show started. But it looks like it's outside. But it is pouring with rain. And I think we're probably better off in here than out there. So anyway, as you can see, the saloon is definitely empty. <laughs> yeah. And that noise you can hear, that's the rain going on the roof. We're leaving in a, a thunderstorm. It's all right, I'm talking to myself, Fem. So, it's raining quite hard now. Look at these sissies on the sidewalk. Could get wet in a minute. You're already a drip. I know. Can't get more drippy. What's this place? Oh, the photographs. So we get a big bang now. Thank you. 
Da-da-da.